Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today we got ourselves a M32 grenade launcher foam dot blaster. And oh boy, this is definitely one of those cool looking toys that kids got to enjoy these days. And it is flywheel powered. Speaking about flywheel powered, this video is powered by Mac Potato. And Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dot blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dot blaster, which includes kids foam dot blaster like this one. So if you guys are also interested with other options, Mac Potato got you covered. Link is in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a long suppressor, a hand grip, a fake scope, battery and charger, 30 darts, and a manual. The battery compartment is located at the buttstock. Just push the plastic upwards and it will reveal the compartment. Connect the battery, put it in, and close the compartment. To install the grip, just slide it into the Picatinny reel just like so. Slide in the scope and tighten it up and friction fit the fake suppressor. This is how the blaster looks like with everything installed. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. Again, this is one of those uh, weird scale blaster as this blaster is marketed to its children. Well, at least to me, the front part and the middle part looks okay, it's kind of intimidating. Just at the back part over here is a little bit on the uh, smaller side. The buttstock is of course uh, not adjustable. Therefore, this is one of those blaster that is pretty much made exclusive for children. Man, children these days sure are lucky. The build quality of this blaster is I would say uh, okay. In other words, this is what I call a toy level plastic. The cylinder of this blaster sure makes one of those satisfying clicking noise just like this. Yeah. Since we are at the cylinder part, let us talk about the cylinder. As you can see, this cylinder looks like it would fit a mega dart, but unfortunately, let us pop out the cylinder. It only fits normal darts. I was like, man, this is disappointing. I thought that I'm able to get something like a, a flywheel power mega dart blaster, but I gotta accept the reality. This is for children's, not for full grown men like me, even though I kind of like this blaster. There is actually two ways to load the blaster. As you can see, there is a small cutout at the front of the blaster over here so that you can actually uh, front load the blaster uh, just like so. But to me, this is a little hard. So I personally would prefer to, you know, pop out the cylinder to load it from here. Speaking about popping up the cylinder, in order to do so, there is a button located at the front of the cylinder. You just have to press it and pull out the cylinder just like so. Uh, the Picatinny reel situation of this blaster is definitely overwhelming. As you can see, there is a Picatinny reel at the top of the blaster and Picatinny reel all over the handguard. There is also a fake fire selector switch on both sides of the blaster, which is Ridiculous, I do not know why they wanted to put something like a, a fake fire selector switch over here. The grip of the blaster is comfortable, it is on the bigger side, and at the same time, it is also thin enough for children to hold it comfortably. The trigger and the trigger pull is pretty big and comfortable. There is actually two firing modes in this blaster. The first firing mode is, they called it the power saving mode, I called it the low power mode, and of course, the high power mode. So by default, the blaster is already in low power mode. Low power mode means trigger rev, which means that by touching the trigger slightly, it will rev the flywheel. That so-called high power mode, which requires you to click on the button over here, which means revving the flywheel all the time. And now here comes the trick. When you actually turn on the flywheel and slightly touch the trigger, it rev the flywheel even faster. And <laughs> that's how they name it the high power mode. Overall, I would say that this is a pretty straightforward blaster. So enough of me talking, let us go test the blaster out.
Okay, okay, the performance of the blaster is actually pretty surprising. So there is two power modes in this blaster. We got the low power mode and the high power mode. In low power mode, this blaster can shoot from 58 FPS all the way to 76 FPS, which is certainly a Nerf Elite performance. I was like, whoa. In high power mode, this blaster is able to shoot from 68 FPS all the way to 81 FPS. And I was like, Holy moly, those are some surprising numbers. The accuracy of this blaster in the same time is surprisingly good as well in 7 meters. And I mean, come on, this is a toy and the performance is actually not bad for a toy. And do you know what? Not only that your kids can have fun shooting in the house, they can probably bring it into a stock nerf war. Or in the same time, since we got a cylinder over here, we can play like a a really big Russian relay. Operating this blaster so far I did not encounter any jams which is a good thing. The only problem that I face using this blaster is aiming because as you can see there is no built-in iron sight or whatsoever. Aiming with this blaster can be quite challenging. You know I sort of use this uh, top rail over here as my uh, iron sight which kind of works in my position. So yep that's all today guys. Like this video if you like it, dislike this video if you do not like it, subscribe if you haven't already and of course I'm going to see you in the next video. Adios guys! Yeah.